that we noticed that especially the moment of Holy Communion became so superficially, so banal, especially with the form of receiving Holy Communion directly in the hand and touching the Holy Host with the fingers from the palm of your hand and then to put yourself, the Holy Communion, in your mouth. And then all the consequences uh, which are flow from this, I would only say four, which, were, which are evident and which you cannot deny. Firstly, the loss of the fragments, of the little fragments of the host. Mm -hmm. This loss is very big. It is, uh, and so we expose our Lord in every little fragment is the whole divinity present, real present. Yeah, see, that's a, one important thing uh, to, to, to focus on. Sometimes you, you almost get a s sense that people think if it breaks off, a fragment breaks off from the host, then it's not really the Eucharist anymore. It is. And it is the Eucharist. Because this is a dogma of our faith in the Council of Trent. It is a dogma that in each even little the most little part of the host is the whole Christ present. And therefore, we, this is a dogma. We have to behave oneself according to our dogma. And in this manner of receiving Holy Communion in hand, with this, we expose our Lord to, the, to the, so a great uh, loss of fragments. So in the, they can be attached on the palm of the hand in the two fingers, and then between the priest and the communicant, there, there is no plate, it fall all down. Mm -hmm. Even uh, in our country, we have no communion in hand, thanks be to God, and we are using only always a plate. A pattern. A pattern. Mm -hmm. And after, even uh, my experience, after each Mass, I have some fragments on the pattern. Yes, it's... But Often when, my experience. But too. when there is no pattern, like in the communion hand, fall down. Mm -hmm. And and so our Lord is crushed by the feet in his church in so many places. This cannot be we cannot be uh, silent about this and say, Okay, we can continue. It is licit. Okay, it is legally licit. But we have to reflect upon this mm -hmm. and to, then this is the first very grave consequence, very grave. Then I continue, this was the first grave consequence of this manner of receiving Holy Communion, which is today spread all over the world. And the second one, um, the stealing of the host increasing mm -hmm. in so many countries, really increasing, mm -hmm. astonishing. Yes. And so we expose our Lord to stealing the host. And then the next uh, consequence, objectively I speak. I not speak about the interior attitude of the people who receive Holy Communion in hand, to be clear. I speak on the objective situation. The third consequence is that this form of, of receiving the Lord, the holiest of holy, uh, in this manner, as we have today so, so much uh, spread, standing in the hand and taking with your fingers and so on, uh, here, here is a minimalism, a minimum of uh, gestures of adoration, a minimum. But when this is the holiest of holy, we have to give the maximum. It is a logical consequence of our faith. And the fourth consequence is that this manner to, to, to put the holiest of holy in the palm of the hand and then to allow that the faithful take with his both fingers himself the Holy Host and puts himself in his mouth, 
this gesture is very similar to take common food uh, in kitchen, in cafeteria, in your house. You can observe this. And so we, we have a situation of uh, absence in this manner of um, real, clear, unequivocal, sacred gesture. And so I have, I think we have to reflect very seriously about this. I, have, I think we have to waken up, wake up, stop, kneel down, adore your Lord. It is logical when the angels in heaven, in the apocalypse, they prostrate in front of the lamp, but we have the lamp of God in the host. They prostrate themselves. We not. Why not?